Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Maluncha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 here in Season of the Deep. Yeah, you see it correctly. I'm just fishing a little bit, guys. And you can actually just let the fish stay on the ground. You don't actually need to pull them in. So it's important to pull them in once you start catching purples. Because purples actually, like, they, they benefit the focused fishing. While blues do not benefit. The green do not benefit. So you... As long as you're catching greens and blues, you can basically just let them stay on the floor. As long as I can see it, they're not vanishing. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna test that out, of course, later. I'll let you know if that happens. But usually when I catch, like, greens or blues, I just leave them there and just fish again. And once I got a purple one, then basically I pick up everything. Because, yeah, I want to get that focused fishing as high as possible. No luck with legendary fish yet, or well, yellows, or whatever you want to call them, rare fish. Well, legendary fish. I uh, got 150 bait, so that's basically what I try to do here. But that's not what we're going to talk about today, guys. We're not going to talk about fishing. We have made some progression. So, we are, well, it says rank 7, but that's the rank I had, I think, from... It says current rank. But actually, I'm rank 6 right now, so kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, but we needed... <coughs> holy crap. For the last part, we needed solar sonar station reputation. Now you can get this by seasonal activities, bounties, and quests. So seasonal activities includes if we check out the helm. So destinations, and we go to helm. I had a question in the uh, comment section. asking me how we could get reputation without this season pass. And I do believe if you run Salvage or you run Deep Dive, you can actually get reputation for your uh, Sonar Station without actually having the Season Pass. I'm not really sure about that, but I do believe that to be the case. So what are we going to do today? We are going to check out what we actually need for our next rank, right? So Journey and then Elite. So let's pick this one up. There we go. Six. So we are going to need to go... Sadly enough, stop here with fishing. And it's focused fishing, so I don't really like it. But we are going to need to go to the uh, tower. To actually talk to the tree. Or whatever <laughs> whatever it is. Advanced Guardian rank. The rank up completed. Six complete. And now we can finally check out what we actually need for rank seven. So let's take a look. Journey, Guardian rank 7. And we are gonna need the Lightfall campaign. Yeah, I'm at 7, right? So Lightfall campaign completion, earn the respect of Nimbus. So reputation with Nimbus in increase it. Uh, three vendor ranks. You get weekly campaign missions completed. So complete the weekly Lightfall campaign mission in Neomuna. Seasonal journey, we need season rank. Speed rank increased by earning XP. There's a free track of rewards as well as a paid track of rewards for owners of the season pass. So season rank, I presume, just you need to get level 15 on the season pass. Even if you buy it or you don't buy it. Seasonal challenges. Complete seasonal challenge from the current season. So grants XP. Seasonal vendor upgrades. Currencies. Bright dust. Other rewards. Seasonal challenges are revealed weekly through the first 10 weeks of the season. Alright, we did that one. Sonar Reputation Station, so we need to get level 4. Increase Reputation level with the Season 21 Vendor found in the Helm. So, level 4, done. Seasonal Bonuses, acquire Seasonal Bonuses from Seasonal Challenges. So, these bonuses are basically, usually we have, like at the Seasonal Station, we kind of have like these upgrades that we can get. But these upgrades are now locked behind... Like challenges instead of like weekly locked items that one by one we can actually unlock. So I presume you just need to get one from what I could see. Right? Just one? Yeah, seasonal bonuses. But it doesn't say, say an amount. Okay, done. Centrifuge. Defeat targets with exotic weapon centrifuge. So each season there is a new exotic weapon. Earns through the season pass. Targets defeated with the new auto rifle 50. We got seasonal playlist rewards. Increase your reputation with Vanguard Ops, Crucible, and Gambit Fender. So four rank ups is pretty fast to do. 
especially at the start of a new season, guys. That's pretty easy as well. Seasonal artifacts. Activate perks on your seasonal artifacts. So five perks activated. Increase your power bonus. So power bonus of five. Done as well. Nightfall, threat and surges. A nightfall is an advanced version. Uh, activities completed. So you're going to need to do three nightfalls. It does not say which modifier. So you can do it on heroic difficulty. We got platinum rewards. Complete nightfall and earn a platinum reward. Platinum is when you actually defeat every champion in there. So if you want to get this one, you need to defeat every champion in there to actually get platinum. I do presume that's, that's the marker to actually get platinum. Uh, unstoppable champions. So unstoppable champion stun six. So you're going to need to stun six unstoppables. Six barriers and six overloads. And then commendations liked. Get your commendation score up to 200. And I'm really not sure how much I've liked. I've, uh, like, how much is my commendation score? Should be able to see it somewhere, right? 30? Oh, 425, apparently. All right. And that is what we are going to need to complete. So rank 17. Yeah, basically I need two more. I need to increase my season rank. And I need to get kills for my centrifuge. So that should be pretty fast for me to do, guys. And this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. It might be a shorter one, but like I said, I kind of just want to go over what you need to do to get your rank increased. Let's sit around now like we always do and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in Destiny 2, guys, or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.